YouTube family, it's your girl, Love Kisses 99 and I just wanted to put together a quick video to show you how you can tweeze the hairline of your lace units in order to give it a more realistic effect. Sometimes we get wigs and they're a little boxy around the front, they don't really match our hairline. So I just wanted to come to you, I kind of sped the video up real quick because I wanted to give you the idea on how I do mine. Now this area right here was far further out by my temples than I needed it to be. So I'm just taking a regular tweezer and I'm tweezing out some of those hairs. Now what I do is I try to make it match my natural hairline. So when I lay the wig on my hairline, it doesn't look so boxy. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling out a few of the hairs in between to thin it out like right there because it is a little too dense. My natural hairline, most natural hairlines aren't as dense as it is here in the wig. So I'm just tweezing out a few of those hairs, trying to make it look a little more natural. And the reason I did speed it up was because you can see the process and you can see the outcome a lot faster. So I'm just pulling back the hair using a clip and then I'll go in between and tweeze out a few of those hairs as well just to thin out that hairline some because it is very, very thick. And I'm just parting it. I don't really use a specific parting pattern. I just use my fingers most of the time on my tweezer to just part it and get rid of some of those hairs. Now this area here would be right along my sideburns and it is again too thick so I'm just kind of going in tweezing out some of those hairs. I really do hope that this is helpful because I know sometimes we get a wig and by it being too thick on the hairline we want to just give up on it and we want to just say forget it and not really deal with it but it really is pretty easy to tweeze out some of those hairs and give yourself a nice natural hairline. Now I know how to do it. I would honestly say slow down. Don't go as fast as you know the video is sped up a little bit. But don't go fast. Just take your time. Sometimes it can take a little while. So even here across the front it's a little too dense. And I'm just working in the middle between kind of between that first line of hair and the second line of hair and just pulling out some of those hairs. And I did have quite a bit more to go in order to make it look more natural and for it to match my natural hairline. But I wanted to give you an idea of how I do it just so that you have an idea that you can do it too. It's really not that hard. And why have a wig that you really can't wear? Just customize it and make it your own. That way you're able to wear it and make it look natural. And again, I do rest my wigs right on my natural hairline just to give it a more natural effect. Now I'm parting out some of that wispy hair in the front just to go in between the wispy hair and the other length of the hair in order to tweeze out a few of those hairs. This is super fast. I did it, really it's super easy as well. If I can do it, I know all of my girls out there, you can do it. Just take your time because once the hair is tweezed out, you can't replace it. And I had already done the other side, so I don't really have to work on that side as much. And I'm just going in, tweezing out some of those hairs. And this was a video that was requested by one of my girls here on the YT and actually a couple girls asked me on Instagram if I could put together something real quick just to show the process and this is as simple as it is and as you can see it's thinning out quite a bit so I'm really hoping that this video is helpful on showing you how you can really orchestrate your wig and you have to make these wigs your own especially around the front they don't always come the way we want them they don't come just out of the box all the time and you're able to wear it sometimes you do have to work with these babies a little bit I'm just getting rid of a lot of that density around the front I just don't like my wigs to look boxy and again I'm gonna work on it a little bit more but I just wanted to show you the process and how easy it is and how you can do it just as easily as I can. Don't let these wigs defeat you babes, just go ahead and make them your own. 
So I'm hoping this video was helpful and I'm going to try to take a picture. I'm not really dressed or anything, but I'm going to try to take a picture so that you can see it. But by me speeding it up, you can really see how the hairline is thinning out. So that's pretty much it for right now. I just wanted to come through and show you the process and I'm hoping you have an absolutely awesome day today and I'll see you again soon.